man oh man greetings once again from the low country coming to you again from the back pet show uh happy to be sitting out here after all of that we've had to do to it you can still see a little bit of remnants of the work that's been going on back here i, I know it seems like it's been going on forever but you know i don't have a lot of time uh you know to spend back here not nearly as much as i'd like to um but it's nice just to have this thing at, at, you know, at a point now where it's totally functional. But anywho, uh, back to the top at hand, which is generally beer. But today I'm taking a little bit of a uh, sidestep, and we're going to talk briefly about glassware. Uh, what I'm not going to do today is go into, you know, all of the futziness and, you know, pretentious nonsense over every conceivable you know, style of glass where it's just insane. Uh, I kind of fall into that trap a lot, but I do like certain glasses and I have an absolute boatload of them, but everything I had that I, you know, own is currently still in storage from the move down here because we've not found our, uh, you know, forever home, I guess it were. And at my age, it needs to be the last one. I mean, honest to God, I'm a freaking fossil. Uh, absolute wheeze bag and moving is just getting to be it's too much for my old ass uh, so you know we're, I'm just going to touch on it really briefly today and I just want to point out that uh, whether you realize it or not uh, and I'm a lot of you out there all four of you that watch these videos may uh, uh, I know my friends that I regularly drink with, they know. So, you know, maybe at some point if I can get some subscribers, we can come up with some pointers. But uh, it really does change the entire experience. And it doesn't matter what what you're drinking, you know, what kind of beer it is, whether it's a, you know, you get old-fashioned light American lager, or if it's something bigger and heavier, it just changes everything. It makes it makes it a much more enjoyable experience overall. Not just because it opens things up and and all of that nonsense, uh, but it 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 does. And if you just try it, and, and when you're at home, just drink from a glass. Pour your beer in a glass. You know, whether it comes in a bottle or a can, doesn't matter. Don't drink from those. Just get a glass. It, it doesn't matter what kind of glass. You know whatever you have on hand but what I'm going to do today is we'll talk just for a couple of minutes about the a couple of different types this is the ever-present and ubiquitous it's got a hundred names uh, a pub pint bar pint uh, American pint uh, shaker pint is another term because it fits right in the top of a shaker and you'll see them in a bar just giving it hell uh, these things are absolute workhorses and they uh, for lack of a better term they have no negative impact on your beer don't have a lot of positive impact on your beer so this is a great choice and if you're a bit of a craft beer head uh, a lot of times if you have local breweries or uh, places that um, have um, you know, big tap rooms that are tied into a lot of the local breweries. They'll do a keep your pint night. You go in, pay five bucks or whatever for a pint, and you keep, you keep a glass. And you can really, uh, you can accumulate. I'm sorry, my wife, <laughs> as usual, communicating to me through the back door. Um, uh, and you get you can keep your pint. And I've accumulated a boatload of them. And then when I get a big stack, I give them to friends. Uh, this particular glass, uh, I won't say it's near and dear to me, but it, this was a, a nice little brewery in Charleston that COVID uh, destroyed. They were right in the middle of expanding and relocating to a new location and COVID hit and they couldn't reopen uh, and they didn't survive it. And it's just a shame uh, because those are really nice people in there. Um, a, another one is the, this is a, an Imperial pint. You won't see these as often in bars. Uh, the beautiful thing about an Imperial pint is that holds that's a 20 ounce pour. Uh, it's got the little bulge in it. You know, rumor has it, it it's you know helps with nosing and aroma, but the biggest reason is uh, for stacking. 
Uh, and then to be a little fussy, this is a, the goblet type. Uh, I love these um, things. I don't know why, um, but you know the beer. The beer ones are, have really thick, heavy bases and stems, and the, and the glass is, is, you know, really heavy. So that's one way to tell that it's not just a wine glass. Um, anywho, so I made a trip into Goodwill, and I'm going to include that in this video. Uh, just to, so you don't think you got to go to, you know, World Market or somewhere and spend a bunch of money on, on glassware. Shaker pints in there are 69 cents. Um, I paid 99 cents for this Imperial pint. I bought this at Goodwill yesterday. And I also bought this one at Goodwill yesterday. I think it was $1.99. I've splurged, you know, got myself a goblet until I can get mine out of storage. Um, they had, I found, um, you know, a a very specific stout glass and Hefeweizen glasses. I think the only style of glassware I did not find um, that's very common is a Pilsner glass. Um, and I think that's the only specific style that I didn't get um, or that I didn't pick up while I was in there. And you'll see it on the video and I'll throw a couple of pictures up too. But um, this, this particular goblet, is a uh, it is a full 16 ounce pour. I mean, this is a pint. So, uh, and while we're talking about glassware, look at there, 12 ounces, boom, room for more. Okay, so I'm in the Goodwill store looking at glasses, and just right off the top, here's some shaker pints. Doesn't really matter what they say. This one's 69 cents. You know, come on. Up here on this top shelf, we got a good old fashioned ceramic stein here with some miscellaneous thing. August Beer Fest, it says, from Hagerstown, Maryland. It's 99 cents. Um, we'll just cruise along here. And look, here's another shaker. Drink local. 69 cents uh, you know if you really look here's a it's a really heavy just a big glass mug nothing wrong with those things 99 cents so you know you get the idea I want to say that when I came in way down here on the end I saw a uh, half of ice and glass there it is way up here it says Universal Studios on it. It's uh, it's 99 cents. You know, there's just no reason to to ever spend an awful lot of money on on glassware. Uh, you know, and look, these are fun. These are great right here for what are these? 99 cents. These are Imperial pints. I mean, that's, that's awesome. Anyway, you get the idea. Is there something on my shirt, or is that something that I'm seeing on my phone? Yeah. Uh, you know, these eight plus nine percenters, I just did one. It's only it's already been posted. Uh, it was 9.2 percent freaking porter. It's great, delicious, but come on, man. Give me something that's six and seven percent that I can have, you know, a reasonable number of before, you know, everything goes straight to hell. love that that's just great it's malty I won't say it's really incredibly malty because there it is it's it's balanced it's malty a little bit dry uh, really lightly hop which you would expect from a brown ale and this one looks every bit the part of a brown ale I mean that's just a golden it's golden oh, for heaven's sake it's a milk chocolate color it's nice and clear uh, it's really lightly carbonated, which is perfect. Darker beers are generally, you generally want them, you know, with not as much carbonation. 
stuff. This is this is just fantastic. I would recommend this to anybody um, if you're just getting into craft beer or if you want to see what darker beers might have to offer. This is a good place to start. It's not. Uh, It's not so intense. It's not boozy at all either at eight and a half percent. You know, a lot of times these these boozy beers, I mean, uh, these bigger beers can be boozy, but this one is not. Um, a little bit of hints of cocoa, you know, a uh, little light bit toffee, caramel. Um, so, uh, given all of that, uh, Oyster City's got distribution in a lot of the, a lot of the southeast because they've been around for a while over down in Florida and I, and I bought their beer up here before they bought uh, the brewery locally. So, anywho, that's enough of that. Uh, this video is going to probably hell, it's going to run into 15 minutes. I, that's just too much. So uh, nobody's going to watch a, a video I do that's 15 minutes long. Like I always like to say at the end of these things, um, please enjoy your adult malted beverages responsibly.